Hello everyone, this is our 2018 Lexus IS 300 all-wheel drive with 42,750 miles. I do apologize for the wind. It's incredibly windy today, but please bear with me. This is a beautiful car. Very nice, uh, kind of a beige silver color to it. Looks really good. Uh, the only issue I really see in the front end is that this black chrome trim piece is kind of discolored, which uh, black chrome kind of just, it just does that over time. I see it really common on, on pretty much any car that has black chrome trim pieces. So the front driver's side fender is in great condition, no issues. Front driver's side wheel looks great no rash or anything like that driver's side mirror looks awesome no rock chips front driver's side door looks really nice does have a little bit of scratching inside the door handle area rear driver's side door looks excellent no flaws driver's side rear quarter panel does have a small scratch up here it's very minute and insignificant Minor scuffing just below the uh, fuel door there. Pretty small detail, not very noticeable. Rear driver's side wheel looks excellent, no flaws. Moving around to the back bumper, it does have reverse sensors as well as a backup camera. Really nice to have, makes parking a breeze. Face of the rear trunk lid looks great. Uh, does have just a couple small scratches under the license plate area and on the bumper as well. Very, very light scuffing on the back. <coughs> the top of the trunk lid does have a relatively noticeable scratch starting from about here. It gets really, really thin and then kind of gets more pronounced as you go along and stops at about there. It also has just a couple other uh, marks on the trunk lid i'd say there's probably five or six in total but uh the more pronounced one is really the only one that's readily visible the other ones you have to kind of look for them passenger rear quarter panel looks good overall but does have a small scratch here very difficult to see very insignificant there's also a very small dent right here in the wheel arch as it meets the door right there very small again rear passenger wheel excellent condition no flaws rear passenger door looks good very very light scratches just above the door handle very very light hard to see front passenger door looks excellent no issues front passenger mirror no issues there no rock chips Front passenger fender looks excellent. And the front passenger wheel, a little bit of discoloration on the finish there, but other than that, it looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll go ahead and walk around the car from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we like to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out-of-state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from a sight unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day-to-day -day basis and helps to separate the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a better, well-rounded perspective of the overall condition of the vehicle. Overall, this Lexus is really clean. It just has a couple small defects like any car with 40,000 miles would. Here on the interior, we have very nice black and red leather interior. Looks really nice. This uh, kind of a silver, almost carbon pattern around the uh, window switch bezel there. So we have uh, heated and cooled power adjustable memory seats. We've got blind spot monitoring, auto dimming, power side view mirrors. Very nice perforated red leather on the seats. We do have a power tilt and telescoping heated steering wheel. Car is push start. It also has easy 
entry and exit to where the uh, steering wheel will tilt up and the seat will slide back when you go to get out of it. As you can see here, there's no issues on the gauge cluster. We're at 42,750 miles. Dual zone automatic climate control. And here we do have radio. It does say the navigation works, um, but it's kind of like a navigation assist where you need your phone for it to work. Here are the uh, heated and cooled seat options with the heated steering wheel, same for the passenger side. Different driving modes, shifter, very clean cup holder, front passenger seat, <coughs> passenger door panel, dash, the interior looks really, really, really nice. Love the uh, classy Lexus analog clock in the center there. Do have a power sunroof as well. Do have an auto dimming rear view mirror with a compass and universal garage door remotes beneath it. Paddle shifters. This car is very comfortable and has all kinds of features. And here in the back, the door panels look great. Gotta love the uh, red leather seating there. There is a kind of mark right there, but I promise you it looks way more prominent on camera than it does in person. It's really not very noticeable in person. And I do mean that honestly. If you don't believe me, come look at it yourself. Ah, hood struts, very nice. So here's our 3.5 liter V6 paired with a six speed automatic. Idles very, very smooth. And Lexus being a sister company to Toyota, you know this vehicle will run forever with very, very little issues, if any at all. And these cars are definitely known for their reliability and having a simple engine like a naturally aspirated V6 is a recipe for very, very low maintenance costs and very uh, long-term dependability. This is a fantastic car. Very dependable, very comfortable, very classy. Lexus just makes great vehicles that run forever, but you still get creature comforts that a Toyota or a Honda may not afford you, which is really nice. So that is our Lexus IS 300 F Sport uh, 2018. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this car on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.